Hello friends, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing, fantastic, incredible day today. My name is Alex and today we will be discussing new revolution products. <laughs> Sorry for the noises. Or more specifically, we will be discussing Contour Powder Compact 5D Mascara and Soap Styler Stick. Let's start with Contour Powder Compact. I can make a wild guess and say that this is from the same release as Fast Base Contour Stick. We have already discussed it. I will link the video in the description box. What is it? Is it a product which contains two shades for contouring, one for contouring, one for bronzing and one highlighter. They have four shades, fair, light, deep and medium. I have mine in a fair, the lightest shade. It retails for five pounds. It has one three-star review on the Revolution UK website and they say that Carve Chisel and Contour Meet Revolution Face Powder Contour Compact. This cute contour compact will become a staple in your makeup bag and is perfect for travel and on the go. Its highly pigmented shades include a deep contour shade, a warm bronze, a shimmer highlight with a range of shades for all skin tones. By the way, it has 0.24 ounces or 7 grams and it is made in China. This is how the packaging looks like. Actually it's very cute, very minimalistic. It is matte uh, nude shade with Revolution Makeup London on the packaging. Inside we see a protective layer which is good. We have a mirror. The mirror is a little bit dirty and by the way my usual disclaimer this is not a first impression. I've been doing makeup using those products for a while so I'm sharing with you my impressions of um, uh, wearing uh, this makeup throughout different weather conditions and throughout uh, different periods of time. So it has a mirror and by the way the mirror of a good quality doesn't distort your face and we have three shades. When we speak about darker palettes of this product I would say that yes this is true one shade contains bronzer, one shade contains uh, contour and contour is cool tone, bronzer is warm tone. Here I would say that this is bronzer and this shade looks for me like a blush and, and a highlighter. I would say that uh, our bronzer is very very pigmented and this is the lightest palette, we remember that, and I would say that this may be a little bit dark for fair skin. <laughs> blush is mine, by the way, uh, bronzer and blush. I would, I would say this is blush because it is pink. Blush and bronzer, they are matte, which is also quite convenient and it is also very, very pigmented and this blush has a very deep shade and a highlighter has deep golden shade again, which is quite interesting because this palette should be here. I will apply bronzer with a brush and we see that the amount of fallout is huge. Even when I wanted to remove a little bit of pigment from my brush, I see here a lot of product <laughs> falling from the brush, which is quite interesting. So let's start applying it on my face and we can see immediately how pigmented this product is. I'm not so sure that this um, palette would work for lighter skin tones. I personally would prefer this product to be less pigmented and to be buildable because when it is less pigmented even beginners can use it because they can build up the pigment but when you have such crazy amount of pigment it's just difficult to apply product on the face. Even for my skin tone, I would say that this bronzer is too dark. Let's remove a little bit of pigment with my makeup sponge because for me it is too much. The next thing is blush. <laughs> it is not supposed to be blush, but um, I guess that this should be contour. And contour on their website, by the way, they have an instruction of how to apply their products. Apply the warm bronze shade to the outer perimeter of the face to add a natural bronze glow. To chisel those cheeks, apply deep contour shade underneath your cheekbones and finish with a shimmer highlight 
on the high points of your face, including your cheekbones, brow bone, nose, and cupid bow. I don't think that if I apply this red pinkish a shade underneath my cheekbones it would work for me and because this also is crazily pigmented spoiler alert i guess that i will apply my blush and it would look just as a disaster so i will apply this shade uh, as blush and we see that blush doesn't have such crazy amount of fallout but still the amount of fallout is <laughs> Is quite big. If we speak about bronzer, I would say that bronzer is a little bit patchy. I, I'm not sure if you can see it, but here I have some areas which I can't blend out even with my beauty blender. But blush actually is very pretty and it is not patchy at all. It is still crazily pigmented and I would prefer it to be less pigmented because it would be just more convenient to work with and currently I feel that I look like a baked pancake. <laughs> and let's move on and discuss highlighters. Highlighter. Highlighter still has a lot of fallout. I would say that if we speak about the amount of fallout and how huge it is, on the first uh, place we have uh, our bronzer, then highlighter, and the least of the amount of fallout has our blush. Highlighter is utter disappointment in this palette because first of all it is very very deep for light skin tones. It has deep golden undertone, it is again crazily pigmented, and you can see this gray spot, this gray line on your cheek. This highlighter emphasizes texture, it emphasizes pores, and the biggest regret which I have is that gray spot on the face. Again, it is very hard to work with this product and as a result what I think about this palette I will tell you in the end of our video. The next product which we have today will be quite an interesting one. This is Soap Styler Stick. It has zero 0.004 ounces or 0.12 grams. It is made in China. <laughs> it retails for five pounds. It has two five-star reviews. And what do they say? Love so proud. Now you can get the look on the go with the Revolution Soap Styler Stick. Create effortless fluffy brows with this double-ended stick. One side contains our innovative soap formula and the other is a spoolie. How to use? Apply the soap stick to your brows in a sweeping motion. Next, use the spoolie to brush your brows upwards and lock them into place. The unique formula means no water is needed. This is cool, making this the perfect a purse friendly product to take on the go for a more defined and sculpted brow. Finish off with Revolution Blush Brow Pencil. I'm not sure why do they say finish with a brow pencil because I personally apply at first pencil and then all of the fixing products like uh, gels or uh, salve. And this has a very new and interesting packaging. On the one side we have soap and the amount of product I wouldn't say that quite big. And on the other side we have a spoolie. I have been using this soap without my brow pencil and now it will be a very interesting experience because I have my doubts if uh, the soap will dissolve <laughs> my pencil. So let's start applying it. I am not uh, using any water, nothing at all, and actually this uh, packaging is quite convenient because I don't uh, need to um, use any huge inconvenient brushes, but on the other hand I don't really feel how much product have I applied on my brows. And yes, I see that soap started dissolving my uh, brow pencil, which is quite I don't know, disappointing, but on the other hand, I would say that I would probably guess that all the soaps dissolve brushes, you know? So I have applied it on my brows and let's start playing with the spoolie. Spoolie is actually quite convenient and mm, I don't know, do I like this product? It's very difficult for me because 
I have been playing with it for quite a while, but it was no such period when I was satisfied with my brows. They just don't have the shape which I want them to be. But what can I tell you more about this product? It's actually quite lightweight. I don't feel it on my brows and I don't see it on my brows. So it looks very natural and if you are a fan of naturally looking brows, it would work for you. And also... I don't know, currently it looks even pretty and currently I like it. Maybe I need to play with it more, but hmm, let me think about it. And we have one last uh, product to discuss together. This is uh, Revolution 5D Lash Pow uh, Mascara in a super black shade. It retails for £6.99. Pence. It has 248 reviews and the final star rating is 4 and a little bit less than a half. And what do they say? This is vegan and cruelty free, uh, volumizing and lengthening. And uh, on the packaging they say that this should have a dramatic multiplied false lash effect. Explosive length, it has 0.41 ounces or 12.2 milliliters. It is made in Italy. Oh my god, something new. The packaging looks like this and this is not as simple packaging because you can't really open it as you used to be. You should like push the cap and then it will open. It has a huge spoolie. This spoolie is very very big. It has huge synthetic bristles. For me this brush is very very big and they say that I would see a wild volume after applying the first coat. I would say that yes, I see the volume, but I don't think that it's something crazy or outstanding. The mascara clumps my lashes a little bit and in general I don't feel like those synthetic bristles, they do much for my lashes. It was the first coat. I see here some clumps on my lower lash line. Let's start applying coat number two. but. I don't know, I wouldn't say that this mascara does something amazing for my lashes. The effect is quite mediocre and also I applied it on a very rainy day. I didn't have an umbrella and at the end of the day I ended up with <laughs> fallout on my cheeks. I'm not sure um, if it is supposed to be like this. This is not a waterproof mascara, this is not a water resistant mascara, but anyways it would be very nice not to have uh, flakes on your cheeks and on your under eye area at the end of the day. Those are my finished eyes and actually the um, result is I don't know, it is nice, but it is not as fantastic as they claim. Yes, I can see the curl on my lashes, I can see the volume on my lashes, but it is not something crazy. Let's discuss my final thoughts. Revolution <laughs> Contour Powder Compact. I'm sorry, I didn't like this product. I think that this is quite a useless one and the quality is not there. It is very <laughs> extremely inconveniently pigmented. It has weird shades and it's very hard to work with those <laughs> shades because you need to <laughs> uh, blend hard in order to achieve a fine look. Also, I have noticed throughout my day that the pigment just fades away. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but now my forehead is not as pigmented as when I started applying it um, in the beginning. And after a couple of hours I will barely see anything um, at all on my face. Soap Styler Stick is actually quite a nice product. It has its drawbacks. I like uh, the new idea of having soap uh, in a twistable tube. I like this pulley. I like that we don't need to wet <laughs> the soap because of course when you apply it on your brows you can um, damage your makeup, you can ruin your foundation and this pulley is quite convenient. Yes, it dissolves um, 
your pencil but on the other hand if you don't wear pencil this will lock your brows and <laughs> this will be quite nice and mascara mascara was a disappointment for me unfortunately I'm sorry I like the idea of unusual tube but on the other end the <laughs> brush is huge i don't think that it does a lot for my lashes and in general the effect is quite mediocre i wouldn't say that it does something crazy so it was all from me for today please let me know what are your thoughts about uh, products which we have already discussed do you like revolution maybe you have some suggestions of what can i try out and share and review for you please be safe Take care. I honestly care about you and see you in my next video. Bye!